Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my 15th video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use course play to automate the baling of hay. If you're new to course play and you missed the first 14 videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description below to my course play tutorial playlist. So in the last video, we raked and well tedded and then raked this field and in the video before that we mowed this field so in our 13th video we generated a course that was the perimeter of this hay field so we're going to use that same course to generate the baling course all right so the first thing we want to do is bring up course play We'll go over here to manage courses and we're going to select the southwest grass field course which is the one that runs around the perimeter of this field. And then we're going to come over here to course generation and if you remember from the previous video in video 14 when we set up the rake to rake this field we set it up at 12.5 meters working width. So as long as we set the baler to 12.5 and we use the same perimeter path then the course that we generate will go up and down where these windrows are so the baler will be centered over where all the windrows are automatically uh, another way you can do this is you can save the course that you generated when you rake the field and just load that course into this tractor that's going to run the baler uh, I, I've, I use course play so much that I only save courses that I can't generate. And since I know that this is 12.5 meters and we, we already have the course for the outer perimeter, to me there's no point in saving the actual fieldwork course because I all, can always just regenerate that course. So we're going to use our edge path as our currently loaded course. That's what's going around the field. Our working width is 12.5 because that's the same working width that we used on the rake. Our starting corner is going to be the northwest corner. We're going to head east. Again, that's northwest and heading east. We're not going to tell it to return to the first waypoint and we're not going to do a headland. So then we can generate the course and there you can see the course is in front of us. So we'll go ahead and get our tractor started here. And then we're going to tell it we want to start the first waypoint and we'll have it drive course. You can see it automatically puts that down. And the nice thing about course play is you notice he automatically slowed down and ejected that bale and then starts going again. So. One of my biggest complaints about bailing with this is the fact that you always have to stop, empty it, close it, and then start going again, and I always run into this problem too where I, I overshoot uh, what's 100% full and I wind up having to then back up so that I don't miss some of the windrow on the ground, but course play does a really good job at, at automating this. now. Of course, you can always use the, the big square balers too, um, since they just automatically drop the bale out behind it, it it's easy. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, we are going to set up a automated course to collect these bales, and we basically use the same course that we're using now with an offset for the collector, and we'll do that in the next video. One of the dangers of doing that with round bales is we do have a few hills on this course and sometimes the round bales will roll down the hill like this one here may actually roll downhill. Nope, it stayed there. Okay, but as we get over on some of these other hills here you, you may wind up losing a few bales because they'll roll downhill uh, and that could be problematic because your tractor could wind up running into it uh, okay, and here, if you remember from our last video, 
we had an issue because the rake and the tether would actually collide and hit that sign. Uh, I'm not going to stop this guy. I'll just let him drive down there. Granted, he's driving awfully slow. But, uh, well, actually, we might be able to fix that. If we increase our turn speed, because this, this section that he's on is technically a turn. So, he's because he's turning from one row to the other, it's just a really long turn because he has to go from that short row down to the end of these long rows. And I'll turn this speed back down once he gets up here. And again, like I said in the last video, if this is an issue, then when you do your perimeter course, you need to uh, make your perimeter a, a rectangle, right? So that you don't have it bump out too far one direction or another. Alright, so now he's going to pick this back up and keep going. So at this point, I'm just going to uh, fast forward the video and we'll watch this guy go through the field here. Alright, so it looks like he's finished bailing. We can so we stop driver and clear the course, and we'll pull him off the field. Alright, so that concludes the 15th video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover using course play for automatic bail collection and transportation. If you're interested in trying out Courseplay, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer, thanks for watching.